Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the slope and y-intercept of a line given its equation in the form ax plus by equals c. In other words, when it's in what's called standard form. So standard form is not the best for finding the slope and y-intercept, so we're going to want to rearrange it. So in this particular example, find the slope and the y-intercept of the line negative 12x plus 4y equals negative 4. That's in standard form because the x term and the y term are on one side and the constant term is on the other. If we're looking for the slope and y-intercept, we want to get the y by itself and rearrange into what's known as slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So I'm going to write down my equation, negative 12x plus 4y equals negative 4, and I'm going to begin by moving the x term from the left side of the equation over to the right side. How do we do this? Well, we can perform operations that we want on an equation as long as we do the same operation to both sides. For example, I can add 12x to both sides of the equation. On the left side, negative 12x plus positive 12x, these are opposites. When we add them together, we get 0. So on the left, we have 0 plus 4y, or just 4y. On the right, though, negative 4 and 12x are not like terms. You can't combine them. So you could write negative 4 plus 12x, but it's customary for us to put the x term first. So instead, you will usually see it written as 12x minus 4. Now that you have the y term, which is 4y in this case, all by itself, you still have one more step to go because the y, we want to get y completely by itself. Remember, we're trying to get it to match up with this pattern over here, y equals something. So we're going to divide both sides by the coefficient of y. In other words, y is being multiplied by the 4. So we're going to do the opposite operation and divide by 4. Now this, this step is a source of a lot of errors because people don't realize they have to divide both sides, all terms, by 4. In other words, on the left, we're going to have 4 divided by 4 is just 1y, or y, you don't have to write the 1. And then on the right, you need to make sure and divide both the 12 and the negative 4 by 4. A lot of times people forget to divide one of them. So we're going to get y equals 12 divided by 4 is 3, so 3x minus 4 over 4 is 1. So now we have something that matches up with the y equals mx plus b form that we were looking for. So we can identify the coefficient of x, the number in front of the x has to be our m, our slope. So m is equal to 3. And the constant term is b. So b is equal to negative 1. Now we know the m is always our slope, so our slope is 3, and our y-intercept is b. Now sometimes in, for example, our Alex homework system, I think they just ask you to type in negative 1. But it's good to understand that when we talk about a y-intercept, it's a point on the y-axis, which is going to be of the form 0, negative 1. In fact, you could see if we were to plug in 0 for x, the first term would go away and we'd have 0 minus 1 for y or negative 1 for y. So we would get the same thing if we plugged in 0 for x. So we've answered the question. The slope is 3, and the y-intercept is negative 1. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.